Hello everyone, today we are going to save our player position. First we need save game script. You can call it whatever you want, I'm going to call it save game. And we don't need update and start for our save game script. If you want you can remove a mono behavior because we are not going to attach um, the script to our game objects. So create new public static void save. So now I'm going to show you how to save our player positions. We are going to use system IO and system dot text go. Now for saving our um, positions, I'm going to tell, first we need to two variables, string path and string content. Good. I'm going to basically say file.write all text, string, oops, application.datapath plus this and plus our path for content we have content already there we go so this basically we are going to save our third position with that script that code so let's test and go um, load our positions for testing I'm going to create C sharp script called demo I'm going to attach it to my main camera you can attach to your player and let's open demo okay in update I'm going to call if I press W button key code W so I want to load uh, I want to save my object position. So save game dot save. Path is going to streaming assets. And my file name. So save dot g save. You can call file type and file name whatever you want. Just make sure this um, type is not available on Windows. Content is so this transform transform dot position dot x to string because we are writing text plus for splitting our x y z we are using this okay and plus copy and paste this one two times remove plus pluses close just change x to z and y good and add this one at the ending of course good now let's test if um, our script working or not go back to unity so test it will give us error because we don't have um, streaming assets folder. Just quick create one. Okay, now it will work. I'm going to refresh, and you can see we already we created um, save file, and it is going to give. It will give us. Zero, zero, zero positions. So let's change that positions and see if we can save. Oops, no. You can see we changed the text of this file. Now, what we want to do. We want to load our position 
when we start game then I'm going to add ok let's go to save game copy and paste this save function again remove this line and add ref to there now we are going to use stream reader to read our text using stream reader sr equals new stream reader and our path application data path plus this again and path there you go and we need this type of content because we are load and split okay and then I'm going to say content equals sr dot read to end dot split and my okay good and close file oops dot close and change save to load okay we're done now we, we want to load um, our XYZ so I'm going to do this with button you can use um, this line and load line where you want just I'm showing you a quick demo so if I press S button we are going to load so save game dot load same path copy and paste okay now we need um, content that pass value to um, this script I'm going to create string um, content equals new string zero. If I don't do that, it will give me error because um, content going to null and we cannot change it with editor. Okay, just add content here. Oh, no. oh. where do they have a load? Mm. Oh, because we should add ref string to there and it will fix okay because we're passing save game to um, demo okay now set XYZ positions to our game object um, our player okay. transform dot position equals new vector tree for converting string to float we use float.parse and our string so content 0 is x 1 and 2 uh, y z just copy float parse 0 paste it two times and uh, change 1 to uh, 0 to 1 and 0 to 2 and there you go, we loaded our position let's test you can see our position is 0, uh, zero, zero, zero. press S button and it is 0, 1 and 10 so this very basic um, save method you can um, do there is a lot of tutorials on YouTube, so um, they show you how to secure your um, save game, like 
um, converting um, these 0, 1, 10 to 0, 1's um, they look like that so this very basic um, tutorial that shows you how to save Play positions. Thank you for watching. And sorry, my English not good. I tried my best to explain what I want to show.